So this is Griffith's quantum mechanics, problem 11.10. Um, we'll be looking at the, oops, so in the Born approximation, we're going to find the scattering amplitude for soft sphere scattering at arbitrary energy. And then we'll show that our formula reduces, reduces to equation 11.82 in the low energy limit. So, um, <coughs> let's first talk about uh, soft sphere scattering. So, basically, it's just the, we're scattering off of the three-dimensional um, equivalent, the spherical three-dimensional equivalent of just a finite square well. So, um, <coughs> I'll just write the potential. This is found in 11.81, the equation 11.81. So, yeah, basically, well, okay, all right, this is a positive potential, so it's, in, in this case, I guess we're, we're scattering off of a, of, a, of, a, of a bump, right? So it would look more like this, but in, in three dimensions. All right, but at any rate, um, you know, this would just give us a minus sign, right? Because V naught is just a constant, so pretty much uh, whatever we do to it should allow us to just have a have a, a minus sign at the end would be the difference between these two, right? Which just means, you know, if you're, if you're scattering, you're either, uh, you're either bouncing off like this or you're being attracted to it, you know, like this. So anyway, you just get a, a minus sign flip-flop between these two. If you look at in the, in the distance, okay. Um, all right, so we're going to be using the um, the equation um, that uh, Griffiths gives us for the Born approximation with spherical symmetry, all right? And that is equation eleven point eight eight. Approximately equal to minus two m over h bar squared, and then this is a kappa zero to infinity of r of iv is a function of r sine of kappa r. Again, this is <coughs> this is the Born approximation, um, but on this this equation is only good under spherical symmetry, which we do have in, in this case. All right. Um, first, I you know um, I'll try and put the, the equations at the beginning of the video, but if you don't have Griffith's book, um, uh, kappa, all right, is defined. Let me make sure I get the sign right. So that's. Let me put a little loops on my k's so we know that they're k's. Um, all right, um, is defined as this, okay? So um, h bar uh, k prime, that is uh, the, let me make sure this is right. This is the, it's going towards the detector. No. Good thing I checked. Yeah, this one is uh, the uh, gives the momentum basically of the incident beam. All right, and then this one is pointing towards the detector. All right, and so this um, so h bar uh, kappa is um, is the momentum transfer. All right to the particle. All right, so incident and to the detector. Okay, 
Let's see, I think that's basically what we needed to define. Oh yeah, um, if we want to look at the angular dependence, we also have this equation which is 11.89. So this is kappa is equal to 2k sine of theta over 2. Okay. So, um, let's just plug in our potential and start with our integration here. So, okay, so uh, if we look at our potential, we see that it's zero outside of A, all right? So this integral will go to zero outside of outside of A. And so instead of integrating all the way out to infinity, we just integrate out to A. Um, now we have R. And um, inside this range, the potential is just a constant, V naught, right? So I'm just going to put that out here. And then we have a sign of uh, kappa R. So uh, we'll just use integration uh, by parts on this. So I'm going to call u equal to r uh, dv equal to the sine of kappa r. And then uh, integrating this, uh, v equals a minus cosine. going to have a uv, which is a minus r cosine kappa r divided by kappa. Okay, um, and then minus the integral of from zero. Oh, and this is also evaluated from zero to a, right? Minus the integral of zero to a of uh, B D. No, did I? Didn't. No, I didn't. Um, well, for one thing, I forgot I put the R on here. my parts, if you can't tell. I have lost my spot. Okay, so we have Tell me this is right. Okay. Seems a lot easier to work this out on my own than do it on camera. No excuse. that part and then we are going to end up with um, a sine kappa r this okay and then we'll have a kappa squared on the bottom and this is okay 
inside of zero zero, so we can just put an A in here. All right, I think. I think we're good here. Mm. Yeah. Okay. All right. I think we're good. Okay. Here we go. Whew. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put this minus sign in there. I'm also going to um, divide or uh, take out a kappa squared on the bottom out of this equation, right? So now we have a kappa cubed on the bottom out here. All right, this minus sign went away. Uh, so there's one, and then we have to multiply on the top by one. this and then we have a minus sign uh, sign okay, I'll put a. all right here we go okay um, all right so the reason I pulled this out um, so we've just found our scattering amplitude by the way um, and we're on to part B where we part of the same question, I guess, but we are going to look at the low energy case and um, compare that to equation 11.82, all right? So, um, so uh, what we're going to do uh, for the low energy case is we'll look at a dimensionless parameter right, which is uh, K, all right, and for low, all right, low energy, this is going to be very small, much less than one, all right, and we're going to, I guess we'll take the Maclaurin series, like right? Taylor, Taylor expansion, right, of these functions in here, except, yeah, Taylor, Taylor expanded zero, so Maclaurin expansion or whatever. Um, and we're only going to keep like two terms of each, all right? So, uh, so just looking at the, uh, the expansions of cosine and sine, all right? So cosine, we have a one minus an x squared over two factorial plus an x to the fourth over four factorial. All right, and well, I guess that would be a minus sign. Right? The next one's minus, all right, this just goes on and on and on. Sine of x, we start with an x, and then a minus x cubed over three factorial plus x to the fifth over Five factorial minus da 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 da. da. All right, this goes on and on. All right, so here's our, our little expansions for for these uh, functions in here. So let's just plug them in. And we're just going to truncate this right there at, after the first two terms of the expansion. So um, let's look at this real quick. Um, so here we have a, a kappa A, 
uh, this one and then this one, all right, they have opposite signs, so those are actually going to go away for us. So what we're left with is cap A cubed, all right, and we have a, um, so this minus one half, all right, so I'm looking at this term right here, except to multiply by this, okay, and then minus minus is a plus, so we have a plus kappa A cubed again, except this time it's over 6. <laughs> All right, um, so I'll put these over the same number, so 6, right, so we'd have a, a minus 3 over 6, plus 1 over 6, we get a minus 2 over 6 uh, cubed, All right, or a minus 1 over 3. All right, so here we go. Now what we have is, again, this is for the low energy case. Right? All right, so a minus one over three. sign out front, we have a two-thirds, uh, this kappa and this kappa cubed, right, they're going to divide out, so we have an M V naught A cubed on top, and an H bar squared left on the bottom, and that, let's just double check, all right, so let me write out uh, equation um, 11.82 quick. So here we go. Here's our, our minus sign right here. Uh, this 4 is going to divide with this 2 and we'll be left with a, right, so 2 thirds. There's our 2 thirds. M, V naught, A cubed. This pi is going to divide out. Divide out. And we just have our h bar squared on the bottom. So this does, in fact, check out for the, for, um, the case of low energy. We do recover the same equation as in the low energy soft sphere scattering example 11.4.